No is a complete sentence. It doesn't require a follow-up. It doesn't require any other explanation other than just no, because maybe you don't want to. And you may have to tell yourself that in 2021 to achieve some of your goals, but I promise you, it'll be the best decision ever, okay? Say no to a lot of things, a lot of people, even to yourself this year. What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, AKA TJ Two Shoes Chains. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. When you are viewing this, if you're brand new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. Two Shoes Crew, you guys are awesome. Make sure as always you engage in the comment section down below. So no, no is, a, is just a word. It, it's, it's a word, but it is also a complete sentence that too many people shy away from saying or answering to things, people, requests, directives, even wants that you may have yourself. But I think learning to say no will be your best friend in 2021. And I say that because uh, too many people feel the need to acquiesce to everyone's entitlement that, oh, if I ask a question or something is requested of me, like I just have to say yes to it. And people really feel like you should just always say yes, no matter what, but boundaries are important. You need to set boundaries this year. You need to set boundaries with people you may know, love, care about, friends, family members, peers, doesn't matter. You also need to set boundaries with yourself. And why do I say that? Because if you can say no to a few things today for the greater good of uh, tomorrow or even further down the line for goals you have set, but things that matter most for yourself, you'll thank yourself. I promise you will. And like, I, what do I mean by that? Okay. So for me to say no to putting funds towards some other things that I really don't need, I'm going to instead use that towards something I really want to do, like want more than the items that I think I always want, like right now. And these are usually like consolation prizes. They're not like necessary wants or things that are really high up on my list. Right. But I want to travel. So that's exactly what I plan to do. And as always, shout out to Soul Premise for sponsoring the video because that's exactly what I'll be using when I finally do take the vacation I need, okay? Just a few days, a getaway, or whatever. Will I be uploading during that time? I have no idea, but the point is I will pack up my sneakers, pack up my clothes and my Soul Premise bag and I will head off and go somewhere and no, you will not know <laughs> where I am going. I will head off, go somewhere, enjoy myself, recharge, come back, be good to go. So you can always shop those bags, use my code talks with TJ to save you money, save over 30 30 plus percent right at checkout. So learn to say no. Delayed gratification is usually something that's associated with the wants and the whole needs debate. But I think saying no also to uh, even opportunities, if they don't make sense, that's something you have to do in 2020. You may think like, okay, so what do you mean by like, why am I saying no to opportunities? Like, isn't that a good thing? Open doors and new possibilities and new pathways. Listen, Opportunities are always a blessing, but just because something is offered doesn't mean it's it's perfect for you, right for you, doesn't mean it's the right time, doesn't mean it is going to help with any of your other goals. If you have a goal of balance, let's say, <laughs> in your life for 2021, you may be someone that, that always takes on far more than you can handle, and then you're really frazzled and you're stressed and you're discombobulated, and you are then not able to give your full self to anything that you've committed to because you're committing to everything else, and then you don't commit to yourself, and then you have to, re, you have to pivot because self-care now becomes really, really important just to get through the day, and that's something you should always be focused on but learn to say no like i recently heading into this year i've said no to different offers and opportunities not because i didn't uh really rock with the brand or the company or business owners or anything nope i could adore them and think they're really awesome and they could value my work and want to work together but if i've already committed to certain things which i have uh for myself both personally and then i guess for the platforms that i've created and that are where they are right now on both instagram and youtube it only made sense for me to say thank you, but no thank you uh, to the offer. The timing just was not a no. Uh, knowing what I've already signed on for and knowing the quality of which I want to commit to, right? And I think you have to keep that in mind too if you want to be a creator sometimes. Like I know some of you will, will think like, yeah, I really want to jump into this space to create and make videos. And maybe it is sneakers because that's your passion and you feel like you could talk about that all day. 
awesome. But if you want to do that, first off, understand you need to be honest with yourself, right? Do you have the time, the means, the resources to upload on a very regular schedule? So you're really, you're putting real effort into this. And if you have to answer no back to yourself, okay, well then maybe you have to look at life and think, okay, is there a way you can restructure things where you are able to give a full committed effort to this and figure out what things you may need to say no to, to be able to make that happen, right? Because if you wanna jump into this, you may have to say no to uh, spending money on certain things just so you can reinvest it back into the channel. That's a very real thing. Um, I think I am different in this space where a lot of times what I buy is based on my own normal buying behavior and habits. So I'm not buying shoes just to show you unless it's an intentional flip, right? I'm not buying every single shoe, every single brand, every single style, every single colorway, just to say, hey, here it is, it's in front of you and here's an unboxing and this is what all the colors look like on the shoe. Like, I don't do that. Because if I buy a shoe, I have it, I'm doing that with the intention to keep it, to have and to hold the shoe, okay? In the event, then down the line, I realize, oh, the I don't care for the shoe as much anymore. Okay, then I'll probably get rid of it. But it's not done with the intention up front, like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna show you every single shoe on the market that you could possibly want. That's just not my lane. That's just not my approach. If that is something you wanna do, then you also need to look at what is the cost of that? If it's not your normal buying behavior, does it work within your budget? And can you pull that off? month after month after month without burnout. If you can, awesome, go that route. Good luck with your channel. I wish you all the best, but learning to say no is super important, but also understand this, saying no will piss some people off, okay? You saying no to certain things, right? Try saying no to your family members when they feel entitled to just have your time and attention and you as a resource. Try saying no. Try saying no to friends where you're always the go-to friend and then you take you put yourself first in an instance and then you say no. See what that response is like, right? Oh, but you have people that are total strangers and you say no and it's still going to cause something within them to become upset because this usually happens, at least I think it happens when um, you saying no means the expectation they had of whatever value you're gonna bring being added to their life at that time and in that place, uh, now they're upset that they don't have access to that anymore. So it's like, how dare you? But saying no is an amazing thing. It's a very healthy thing. We, I also heard it a lot as a child, like a lot. I heard it a lot. <laughs> you know what? I think it allows me to say no comfortably too as an adult and focus on me and what is best for me. And the, the, you learn to do that in 2021, I think you'll be just fine. So thanks for tuning into this video. As always, at your age, now your shoe size. Peace out.